Yo, what up guys? We are back. Trying to make another video today. It's gonna be another quick one. Um we just got a bunch of these Rustoliums Universal. And then um we got these about a month ago. No, about like two, three weeks ago, the Acme paint. I've been using it here and there and it's really good paint. So I wanted to show you guys. These ones come with the with the trigger spray. Just unlock them. Hold it, it's hard to do it one hand. There we go. There we go. Simple one, two, three, you know. Shake them up really good. Somebody was uh talking shit on the comments. Well, criticizing <laughs> that I don't shake up the cans. So, this is how they spray. Really good coverage. But, we don't like this shit. This is what you do with these. Right here. Just break it off. And then I have here a uprock adapter. You need the gray one for uh, Krylons and Valspar cans. And that one fits on this one. There we go. That one fits perfectly on this can. And I do want to drop an outline with this. I want you guys to be patient because this is a long video. If you want, just skip to the end and just watch how the piece turns out. But um, then I'm going to just be doing like a quick S and an E because if I do anything else, it's going to take too long. Go quick S. Can I see it? I know my bad. A little bold, and then um, quick E. Here's a trick. So my old homies taught me. You kind of just drop your little tag, and then you come back and. You know, give it some style. Just like that. Boom, quick SE, bros. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our 2D. We'll just do it straight down. Add a little bit on this side. And right here, come back and like, I'm doing a uh, opposite right now instead of filling in and then outlining. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this quick way. I kind of never do it because it's a little hard, but it's much, much cleaner. So what you do is you drop your outline first, you know, do your 2D, your background, blah, blah, blah. Then, um, at the end, you come in with your fill, but you come in with your super clean fill, you know? Make it super clean. A little 2D right there. See how I'm thickening in up my outline? Just so when I come in with my fill, it's gonna be super clean. Make it all thicker. And this one's a, a 2D. Zero complaints with this paint. It's It flows. It is a little on the higher pressure. It's not a low pressure can. When you put uh, thin caps on it, it does lower the pressure a bit, but 
Um, it's pretty up there. So you can see it. Acme paint. I think we're gonna start carrying it now. People loved it. You know, we like it. So, at the end of the day, that's what matters, you know? So, I might have to come up, come back and clean a little bit, but it won't be as bad for that blue, man. That blue is beautiful. I'm about to hit on my, my boy again that sold me all these, and I'm going to get a couple for myself because this is a really nice blue. And then, um, if you don't know, if you never used these Rustos before, these Rustos cover really well compared to the regular ones. Cover a little bit better. Yeah, so... Like I told you guys, I'm not really good with this style of painting yet. Just wanted to try and show off real quick for the camera. But it's not gonna work out. We're gonna have to come back and clean the whole thing up. But, I'm not tripping. Look at that coverage, you know? Boom. But these are 10 bucks a pop, so I guess that's why they're really good. Hopefully you guys can see. It's kind of hard. Um, Outlining and trying to follow with your camera at the same time. Camera phone. Fill that in. Hell yeah. There we go. Color is very, very dope. Step back. Sick ass color, man. Ended up stealing a couple from the shop last night. So, be expecting a bunch of blue and other color shit coming up. Because I got about five of them. So, I had to come back and clean all this up again. You know, nothing bad. That's what I taught a lot of a lot of the little homies coming up, you know, barely getting into painting. Whenever you do a line, you always want to follow through. So So if your line's dirty right here, don't just clean it here. 
Cause then look at this, you know? You wanna follow the whole line. Pretty clean, right? Clean, very solid. Throw a 20 right here. And that's all for today, folks. Oh, hold up. I got a white right here. I'm gonna throw some, gonna throw some sh shines on it. See, that's all I like having paint around because when I start getting ideas, I don't wanna start fucking adding shit. Fuck yeah, look at that. Big difference, so a little white will do to a piece. And then I got a little lighter gray right here, so we're just gonna go in. Oh, this cap is clogged. We're gonna give it a quick little line, just to add some detail to the 2D, just so it's not so boring. So just something quick, you know? Nothing fancy. For these, you kind of want to just give you a nice even line between between that and your actual outline, so it looks clean. And that's it. See how much two little cans, two extra little cans you could carry around. It took me what 15 seconds to do that. And the fucking piece looks 30, 40 times better, you know? Something to think about when you're uh, packing your packing your bag to for a night on the town, you know what I mean? And then there's like little details like this that I love doing. Then the, uh, the cracks. These are getting old, but I still like doing those, you know? Add little lines here and there. And a little bit more. But um, I'm going to try to stay on the channel. Keep uploading some more shit. Um, shit, yeah, that's it. Peace.